So pretty. He's about to be sacrificed. Sacrificed. So there I want a mini hybrid ready. All right, you guys, what's up? Iron Life Fishing here. So we what's got a, up, guys? Let's go. We got a pretty interesting video today. So as you guys know, I have a tank, and I got a bunch of exotics in here. I got a couple absolute massive jewel, uh, African jewel cichlids right there. I actually caught from the local canal system. I got a uh, couple African cichlids in there. You can't see the other one because the water is super murky and gross. I also got a Paku back there. It's pretty big. Look at him right there, red belly Paku from the Amazon. But... The water, the little water is a little bit dirty here. The reason for that is because I have two large tiger Oscars that I have in the bucket over here. We just got them out of the tank. Two almost fully grown tiger Oscars, they're in there. And basically what happened is I got too big. Too much ammonia in the tank, too much poop, too much food in the tank and stuff. And pretty much what happened is that the fish got too big for the tank. So in turn, the water gets really murky like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the neighborhood fish farm and we're gonna go what you guys can do is if you guys live in south florida if you guys live in miami you guys if you guys have a tank you guys have fish that get too big you can go and donate them to the neighborhood fish farm we'll put their link into the description to their um to their instagram and you guys can go give them your fish that are too big and they'll take care of them and they'll get them to a really good home that or they'll just keep them if they're really 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 big so yeah guys that's pretty much what we're gonna do and i'll see you guys back when we get to the fish farm Alright you guys, we're out here at Tropical Fish Miami. We're out here, you know, gonna see what they got going on over here. Here's their first little outside pond, just a bunch of bunch of cool little little smaller kois and a bunch of goldfish. Some African cichlids in there. Freaking cool. Some more some blue African cichlids back there on the surface. Put it up there for me because I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, here. I can actually put the bucket like down here. All right. Got the Oscar going into the pond. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. There they go. Look at that. Just chilling right on the bottom. Yep. Look, he's going under there now. He's gonna follow her. Oh, he does. And they're big, man. Yeah. Like, like now you can see them from the top. You can see how freaking big they were. Look at them. Man. They're, so, they're so pretty. Look how pretty they are. Yeah, they need more space. Yeah, well, they have a lot more space now, they man. It's just he just so bad stuff got caught in his teeth. They'll come off though. I'm gonna eat the moss now. Oh, Look how cool this guy is, guys. Silver arowana. Like, literally, probably one of my favorite freshwater fish right here. These things just literally look like dragons. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, so pretty. Such a pretty fish. I got the pakus right there, as always. These things, guys, are such insane fighters when you catch them. Such a pretty fish. Koi's. Bunch of koi fish right here. Loads of them. Bunch of electric blue acaras. Some African cichlids. This is a whole mix right here. We got some bunch of baby koi's. Some cichlids. One of the rare fish in the pet trade in here. Little marijuana. Ooh, he's gonna jump up and grab you. <laughs> look at, look at, look at, look at him. See how he like gets like the S shape? They're like snakes. They get like the S shape, like ready to pounce. Check out how pretty that fish is. Oh my gosh, he's way more aggressive than he was last time. Oh, so pretty. Look at like, the edges of her scales are like red too. That's Ooh, she's aggressive, man. Every time I get the camera close to her, she wants to come up. Ooh! She wants to grab me, man. So bad. Look how big her fins are. She's like a dragon. Yeah, with like koi like this, look at how pretty these are, man. Yeah, but not an underground one, like a beaten, uh, galvanized, uh, uh, galvanized. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, with like with like live plants and stuff. Yeah. 
We can make that a super cool project. We could totally do that. And like depending. We've got a poor dead goldfish right here. He's about to be sacrificed. About to be sacrificed. <laughs> he freaking. He's so much more aggressive than last time I was here. It's. Oh! Oh! He starts it. Yes. No, it is on. Look, he's got to cut the camera. Oh, okay. Look, ready? Oh, the arowana. Oh, oh my gosh, that was like instantaneous. Oh wait, did he get it? No. Yeah, he got it. Oh no, he didn't get it. No, he, he didn't. It. Yeah, because it fell. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> oh, 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 the red tail got it. Look at this, ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, look, watch. Yeah, look, look out there. The pock is gonna get it. Watch. Oh, oh no. Oh, the pock who got it. Oh, he slurped it. <laughs> look at the arowana. Ready? Oh my gosh, you instantly. It. You didn't even yeah. see it hit the water because he ate this it. This one, this one coming No, up. look, 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 look at the mini hybrid. Ready? <gasps> Just because I did it. Guys, Get out of don't here. be like us. A little crazy. Please don't put your hands in the, the way of these monsters because, yeah, they'll get you. They will definitely get you. It's freaking beautiful though. Oh, this guy ran over. South Florida. If you guys live in South Florida and you fish in South Florida freshwater, you definitely know about these guys right here, the infamous black paku. These guys are freaking everywhere down here. The reason they've adapted so well to these lakes and canals when people release them is because they eat absolutely everything. And in in, actually, in the fish trade, people they, they literally have they literally have the nickname garbage cans because they can literally eat everything, guys. I mean, we're talking about bones, dead fish, like carrion, like dead meat, uh, plants, berries. Oh, and then right here, we got, we got another fish that, I don't know if a lot of people know about them in South Florida, but I've seen these guys a few times in the lakes and ponds down here. The Lepornius fish, also known as the striped Lepornius. They actually come from the Amazon, specifically Colombia. Really pretty fish though. I've, I've seen a few, I just haven't got one to eat yet. I know people have caught them on bread down here before. A um, little more rare to find around here than the Paku, but they are around. And these are a few rescues here that people have brought back to the fish farm to take care of. And as you can see, these guys are thriving in here. All these African cichlids, Paku. Oh, wow, gorgeous tiger ostrich just came out of hiding right there. And there he goes off into the pond. Man, that was a beast. Gorgeous Tiger Oscar right there. And look at this, guys. I mean, just an insane mixed tank right here. We got a bunch of Paku right here, some striped Lepornius, and an abundance of African cichlids. Some beautiful blue ones right there. Look at that. Light blue right there. Tiger Oscars, African cichlids. Oh, and there's a pair of Jaguar cichlids over here. That's cool. This is a fish that's very abundant down here. Along with the Oscars, they have a pretty solid population down here. This is the jaguar cichlid right here. One of the most aggressive fish in the fish hobby. And I know this because I've actually kept these before. And I'll tell you guys what, these things do not mess around. These things are aggressive. This is real cool. So anyway, guys, I love just having a bunch of big fish in one pond, but honestly, I'd take this insane mixed species pond right here over that. I mean, this is probably like a few different countries worth of species of fish all in one pond and all thriving and healthy. This is just super cool. I mean, from here we have fish from North America, Central America, South America, Africa, 
like like right there are four different completely different areas of the world and all these fish mixed into one maybe even some from asia here there's a couple of cichlids that look from asia maybe there's a couple koi in here too so actually yeah definitely from asia a couple koi fish right there